Hello you guys. And today in this video, I'm going to be... I mean, I got... First of all, yeah. I got this game. I'm going to be unsealing it, which is, I don't know if you expected it to be, Sonic Forces. Yeah, I picked it up from GameStop. And so, for this one, I don't know if this is the only option, but it, this is the bonus edition, which it gives you an extra, like, it, extra things, which is, first of all, the controller for whatever console you're buying for. And uh, it gives you... I mean, it doesn't show here, but it gives you like four or five skins actually for your custom character, which that's something new in this game, which has been like people are feeling on and off about, even also classic Sonic. So, but anyways, yeah, this is the game I got. This is unfortunately a people that have a lot, a lot of people have mixed feelings about. It. I don't know if I would say controversial, but like, I mean, maybe controversial in terms of like that they're trying to say it's a bad game, and then people the other way around argue with that. It's like, no, it's not gonna be, or don't make it into a fact. You get the point, so it's 20 gigabytes as I've seen already earlier. Big, that's the size. Yeah, that's the back anyways, by the way. Yeah, that's how you're gonna tell if it's bonus and what it tells you. But yeah, that's what's inside and tells you what edition is this. Action, funny story, because if you see the other video, I actually reserved this first for the, P the Nintendo Switch, the Switch, but then unfortunately I was having so much skeptical and you know on and off thoughts about it like I was going back and forth and I decided to get the PS4 just because it will technically run better and because higher frame rate but in terms of specs and um I don't know I feel like this game is more of like a, just a home console thing I know the Switch is both but still because it would run well also on the PS4 but maybe if you have the Xbox One X it would be better or S but either way even X I got it for PS4 I was it was really hard for me to decide it's like the whole you know Sheldon and the Big Bang Theory either PS4 or Xbox One which to get hopefully they make a new episode showing the Nintendo Switch they did not even mention the Wii U ever that's funny and just saying neither the PS3 I mean at least in general PS3 um, and Wii U they never did I wish they do oh and they also did it with Xbox One I'm glad all right and as always I've got my safe you know sharp knife and I'm going to be unsealing it now Hang on. Yeah, some games have this thing where you can just slide it off immediately, if you know what I mean. Yeah. And that feeling when you don't want to seal, it's almost like you're a collector. And just the feeling, you know, it's satisfying when you see it so shiny and so. Because after all, it doesn't become. But just, it's cool when you get to touch this, I mean. Yeah, let's open it up. Yeah, these are the things inside. These are the things, the skins whatsoever. This is the DLC called Episode Chat, which everyone wished was already included in. And like, everyone wants to play that, I mean. Those are the skins. I think the code's on the back, yep. The code's on the back and expires actually this day of next year. Hmm, sorry, in two years. Hmm, two years, that's interesting. Okay, get that out of the way. And what is this? I don't think it's the manual, I doubt it. Oh, that's the skin. Pfft, I forgot about that. I don't know, maybe when I have an extra controller, I will put it on, but that's what it looks like so far. It almost looks like Batman, so that's funny. All right, I'm gonna put these in again. So that's, those are what you get. But this is the only where you get the code for. I was gonna say, I don't know if it was gonna be either this or with a receipt, but thank God it's like this. Cause I think with the, like the Little Big Planet PS Vita one, I think it was like they give extra skins and it was on the, uh, the receipt. I'm excited to play this game, and I'll give my honest thoughts. Hopefully, I'll make a review on impre or impressions video. Or, like, you know, when I play the game, I give all my thoughts, if you know what I mean. Kind of like with Call of Duty and how it was a Crash Bandicoot and Sing Trilogy. They were both slightly different, but yeah. Still kind of the same thing. Yeah, that's, you, you guys, for my video, that's Sonic Forces PS4 Edition. Came out today, and people keep caring for Comparing it to Mania, that that one's better and whatsoever, and since because that one's recent, three almost three months ago, two and a half. But yeah, don't see the reviews whatsoever. I mean, like, don't trust the reviews. Just play the game and then give out your thoughts. People having skeptical thoughts, but I feel like at least it would be better technically than Sonic Boom, and even though I didn't play it, but Sonic 06, maybe like Sonic 06, except not buggy. Just saying. Sorry if I that was a silly statement when I said almost like Sonic 06, but at least it's not buggy. That's one thing. That's what the series is known for, unfortunately. It's just, not everyone likes it, and maybe, I don't think it's controversial, but you get what I mean. Sonic 06, on the other hand, and Boom was. Thank you guys for watching this video, and um, I'll see you next time then with more videos. Hopefully by next week, like the next couple days or week, or weeks. Like, couple days or week. Bye. Yo, what a coincidence, I forgot to mention, like, you know, it's just, the fact that it's here, I was... Yeah.
sorry, I did not mention it, but like, this is a, it's funny how there's a Sonic character here, and you know, all is unboxing this game. I also have the Generation statue, but it's on the other, it's on the living room. Sure, why not, I'll show it. This one.